what's good everybody in this tutorial i'll show you how to install sublime text and how to set up a work folder so first things first we'll have to go on the sublime text website as you can see right here in my browser next we'll have to go download our version if you're using os x or mac os x you'll select this windows you'll select this 64 bit if you're using windows also you'll select this so let's just download it then you'll just save it. Fortunately for me, I already have everything here. So once that's done, I'll just install it. But anyways, let's move on. Let's start up Sublime Text. And what we'll do, we can create a new PHP file for our class. So file, open folder. I want to go my WW folder already, as you can see, but let's just go to this PC so we can find it easier for those who don't have it. So we select main C or whatever your drive is, your main drive. And inside your main drive, you will look for 164, which is the installation file for the folder, whatever. Select WWW. Then we'll have to create a new folder. So just call us one PHP stuff because I'm lazy. Oops, stuff actually. With two Fs. So, now we can create our new folder. So now we just select, select first folder. And that's it. Close this one out. Can you do more? Now, for the fun part. Let's create a new file. We'll say file, no file. So we have to change our syntax to PHP, whatever language you want to use. So inside view, syntax, scroll down until I find PHP. And once we do that, we would say file, save us, and give it a name. Just say index. Okay, great. So first things first. Now that we have our files and our folders, whatever you want to call it, we will have to start our blank HTML tags. Okay, simple as that. Ah, sorry. Then what we have to do is give ourselves some PHP tags. Let's end this. Okay, so echo string. Let's just go with that for now. Make sure you have your one startup. Save it. Never go remember browser. Localhost. You can see inside my local host. Stop my PHP stuff right here, as you can see. Say local host. Mark slash PHP. There we go. You have string show up on our page. And that's it for now. I'll show you how to go about the next video.